board calling this meeting to order at 6.30 on Monday, August 16th, 2021. Um, the first thing I want to mention is that the agenda is going to be changed slightly. We will not be talking about the Shaftesbury Howell additional charge under Department of Public Works, and we will be going into executive session at the end to talk about personnel and legal issues. So with the uh, adjusted agenda, is there anybody that has a conflict of interest? No. 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 Okay, we have minutes from that were circulated for, uh, for Monday, August 2nd. Entertain a motion to accept them. So moved. So Tony, seconded by Ken. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried 4-0-0. Zero, zero. This is warrant, warrant number five. And the number down here is the right number? Is that yes. right? Yes. Uh, warrant number five for 142,413 and 46 cents. So moved. M motion by Second. Tony, second by Ken. Okay, items that were or more. AFLAC, which is uh, taken out of the employee's pay and paid to AFLAC. Uh, BCB S of Vermont. Just on AFLAC, okay. just to be clear, it's a 50-50 split for uh, short-term disability between the employee and the town. So the town does pay some. We pay 50% of the standard. Okay. Yep. That's what's reflected there. Bennington County must be Bennington County BS of Vermont. What is that one? Uh, well, BCBS is Blue Cross Blue Shield of Vermont. Oh, okay, that's $4,500 for insurance, health insurance. Um, Delurys, $1,100. What was that, Dave? Delurys was. Uh, for the 7800, the 15700, and the 13, actually, the 13 was the big one at 1144. I'll tell you that in a minute here. <coughs> yeah, where is it? Uh, let's see, that was uh, a front brake issue. Uh, shoes low and drums were heat overheating. We moved and replaced drums and shoes and adjusted the brakes. Okay. Fairfield Incorporated for eight thousand dollars. That was the mower rental. Yep. That was for last time. It's still coming back, right? Yeah, it's coming back. Yes. Uh, New England Municipal Resource for eleven hundred dollars. That's a work with the listers. Yep. And eighty-eight hundred dollars for North Bennington Water Department. That's uh, eighty-eight thousand. Oh, eighty-eight thousand, isn't it? That's for two months. Yeah, that's for two billing cycles. Yeah. Tam, must be one of the last payments. Those are the last uh, payments under their management contract to sell on Tam management contract, and the billings from here will be uh, directly from us running it. Uh, $1,100 for one from Wallingford for Stone. Uh, 
we bought a trailer for five thousand dollars from Weaver. Yeah, that was approved at the last meeting. Yep. So, any further discussion? Nope. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? So carry. Carry four zero zero. And I have a payroll warrant for $21,907.25. So moved. Second. Motion by Tony, second by Ken. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried, 4-0-0. The payroll is it? Yes, it you know. stays with it. Yeah. In last meeting, uh, we voted to buy a new server, and they agreed to sell it to us, but they wouldn't sell it to us until we paid for it. So, the nerve of them! Wow. So I signed a warrant here in the office because we'd already voted on it for him, for uh, Dave to send them a check so we could get delivery on it. So we just need your signature. We did vote on it last meeting. At the last meeting. I got some nerve. <laughs> <laughs> they even wanted me to pay tax on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Should have heard that discussion. No, I wouldn't. Can that imagine. was their tip. Yeah. Announcements? Anybody have any announcements? I've, I've got a couple. Uh, I've been asked to make everybody aware that we are could use some help in both the DRB and the Planning Commission. Uh, they both have, I think, at least two two yeah, empty slots. Two uh, the Planning Commission uh, is the people that uh, generate the town plan. It has to be done every five years, I think. Um, so they are, they are all the forward thinking people about how they would like this town to be in the future. And the DRB is the people that go through the criteria that's required when somebody comes before them for a building lot or, or anything to do with uh, zoning in the town. So we need some help. Um, so if you want to serve the town, um, Dave, would be glad to give you an application or mm -hmm. uh, con you would be considered by the board. So uh, the other thing that I would like to talk about briefly is that the dump is now, as I said last meeting, is now totally under our control. If you have any comments, we need to hear them. Mm -hmm. uh, any complaints, if you like what you're seeing, we'd like to hear that too. But obviously, this is your this is your dump or transfer uh, station we transfer station i keep calling it the dump uh transfer station uh we need to have it work for you okay anything else okay 
Uh, we are up to public comments now. Yes, please come up and state your name and address and we'll listen to you. I'm Kathy Solian. I live on Shaftesbury Hollow Road. Thank you for letting me speak. I won't take much of your time. Um, I'm one of the ones that was assigned a new 911 address, so I'm here to object to that. Um, I understand that you guys are under some pressure from the state to have done what was done, um, but my first notice that any of this was going to happen was back in August of 2015. And then the next notice was in June of this year when I was told this was a done deal. That first notice that I received was addressed to me and uh, another property owner, a camp owner, several lots up from me, who actually had an address on Shaftesbury Hollow Road. And I only have assumptions as to why, but that doesn't matter now, he's gone. Um, Anyway, uh, one of the reasons that Shelley had listed on this letter why the 911 address was uh, required was it said that the addresses assigned to your properties are incorrect and therefore potentially misleading to emergency personnel. And she said, your driveways do not intersect with Shaftesbury Hollow Road, as your addresses would indicate. That's true of that other person, but not me. Um, I've read all the materials, I've talked to Shelley, I've talked to Dave, uh, David, and I've talked to or emailed with Tyler, the 911 guy. And what I'm seeing is the state is requiring that any locatable structure where someone can generate a 911 call will get its own unique 911 address. And as you probably know, there's no cell service up there. I don't get cell service where I live if I didn't have my microcell booster. Um, when I mentioned that to Tyler, his point was that someone could have a cell phone booster up there somewhere and potentially someone might be able to get cell service off of it. But my booster plugs into a wall and I know they don't have electricity up there. And even if you were at my house, you couldn't get cell service through my booster. So they might kind of be locatable, but there's no generating a 911 call up there. Um, nobody lives up there, and they shouldn't. Nobody gets mail. And I'm the only resident, I'm the only locatable structure that can generate a 911 call. My driveway starts at Shaftesbury Hollow Road. It's a deeded right-of-way for the properties up past me. I do not have a right-of-way to get to my own house. Um, it's not a shared road. It's not a shared driveway. It's not a shared right-of-way. Um, Tyler had stated that my new address number was 120, which represents 0.12 miles, he said, down the road to my individual driveway. I'm here to say this is my driveway. My house may be 0.12 miles up that driveway, but that's just where my house is. I am the right of way. I already have a 911 address. I don't need another one. And in the 25 years I've lived there, I've only called 911 once when somebody on a four-wheeler hit a water, bo uh, water bar and he went one way and the four-wheeler went the other way. But everybody found me just fine. First responders, ambulance, state trooper, they all got there. No issues. Um, I'm told that I should probably consider putting a sign down at the bottom of my, my driveway. Sleepy Hollow is what somebody decided the name of my driveway ought to be. Um, I can tell you I have no intentions of putting a sign down there just to have someone steal it. Uh, camp owners, if they want to do that, they're welcome to do that. Um, but quite frankly, the last thing I need is for anybody driving around that area to consider or to think that that's a road and drive up that driveway. Mm -hmm. 
I know that may sound ridiculous at who would do that, but I can tell you who would do that. Um, a number of years ago, I, there were two Bennington College young women who decided to take a drive at midnight in the dead of winter and almost out of gas. And they somehow find their way up Shaftesbury Hollow Road. I'm two miles up. And they saw a sign tacked to a tree that said Sleepy Hollow. And up they came. And no, needless to say, they didn't make it because they got stuck. They spent the night. My husband and I were able to dig them out the next morning. And uh, that's the kind of people that would look at Sleepy Hollow sign and decide to come up. And by the way, that sign that was on the tree has been stolen. Um, I've been told that this decision is a done deal, yet except for the 911 service, no one else is going to be able to find me on Sleepy Hollow Road. The Bennington Post Office doesn't know. I've checked twice. I'm not on any map. Googling gives me uh, Sleepy Hollow Road in Manchester. Sleepy Hollow Drive in Reedsboro. Oh, Searsburg, sorry. I'm not on the GPS system and I have no sign, so I just kind of disappear. 911 is the only one that would recognize Sleepy Hollow. If anybody remembered to say, I live on Sleepy Hollow. And as far as the name of that driveway, except for the short conversation I had with Shelley a few years, well, six years ago, no one bothered to ask me. And I'm the only resident there. I understand that the chief, I'm supposing the fire chief, was asking his colleagues what they thought that name ought to be. I don't really care what you call it. You can call it Sleepy Hollow, Creepy Hollow. It doesn't matter to me. My suggestion would have been to call it Impassable Road or Private Road. So nobody goes up that road. I understand your concerns about liability and uh, if the on the off chance I had to call 911, I would not be locatable. Clearly, I am locatable with my Shaftesbury Hollow address. If the camps must have an address, name their road Sleepy Hollow. But leave me like I am. Um, if I were to call 911 and happen to remember my new address, but perhaps couldn't give directions, where would they go? Shaftesbury? Manchester or Reedsboro. Now that's your liability to me right there. Um, I'm almost done. I won't read all this stuff. <laughs> I, I just want to suggest, I want to request that the select board reverse the decision of my house being on Sleepy Hollow Road and having that new 911 address and leave me as I am. I'm, I have road frontage. I have significant amount of road frontage. You can see my house from the road except for this time of year. And if you go up a little further toward the creek, you can see my house. Um, I don't know if you have any comments about this. I knew this was discussed back in January. No. no. The whole business of camps needing a 911 address was discussed, but nothing specific. And we just, and because um, it was hard to know exactly where somebody's camp was in their lot, I think the decision by the state was we will pick the center of the lot. Is that right? Not right, Dave? Yeah, because the, the way this started was just that way. The state actually came to us. They sent us a very strong letter that uh, our failure to assign, like most towns do, camps addresses would lead to liability on the town's part should someone become injured. And we went back and forth on, well, how do you define an address for a camp that has no fixed spot? So we came up with this assignment of numbers based on the pretty much the center point of the camp as well as Sleepy Hollow continues up which I'll grant you at some parts like we pointed out to the state is like a mule trail but yeah. that was good enough for them and uh, you know this is uh, more or less a directive from the state that we don't really have much say in. I understand that and that's why I read all of this stuff and yeah. got all the details and their point being number one is that 
they want to be able to find that person. They can find me. I know they can. And the other is that, uh, and their definition was it had to be locatable, good luck, up there, and uh, they had to be able to generate a 911 call. How are they going to do that? Well, depending on the service, and I'm not sure if it all doesn't services go up don't. there. Well, I've looked, I checked that out, and it's service, on the website. Every, every service. Every single service. Yes, and it, it doesn't go up but what to if, my what house. But if, what if it becomes available, which I think is their point of view? And, and again, this is all coming from the state. I understand. We're, we're kind of in a bind with this because we really. Is there a landline? I mean, that, I have a landline. There. I have electricity, and I have yeah. a cell phone only because of that. But they also came back to me, Tyler, and it looks like with the town that it's up to you to make that final decision. And it has to do with liability. That I understand if, if I were to call and they couldn't find me, that somehow the town would be liable. Well, if I have a 120 Sleepy Hollow Road, where the heck is that? It's already there. It's already there, but the only. It's already in the 911 system. I know, I saw that. So. Nobody else knows I'm there. And the, the object, again, is there's one criteria, otherwise, the whole system falls apart. Can't those and camps the, have that? The right of way is regarded as a private road. So that's why we reverted back to the Sleepy Hollow name. And your driveway is 120 because of its location up that private road is the way it's perceived by them. That's I, where my I, house I, is. That's yeah, but not that's, where my driveway you know, is. The only way for 911 to work is when mm -hmm. you get a number, you go to the driveway on the road. You have no driveway on Shaftesbury Hollow. That's yeah, what that's my driveway. Well, I that's, own that's that a driveway. right of way. That's a sleepy hollow. Whether you, it's a right of way over your property or not, it's still considered a private road to access all those other things. That's what they're saying. Well, that's not how I read it, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So, so let me just <laughs> let me just say this because I know you're under the gun, and you don't want to argue with the state. If all you do is leave my mailing address as it is. I can live with that because nobody else except 911 knows where Sleepy Hollow is. And even if any of us put a sign up there, you know as well as I do it's not going to stay. Well, we, I'm well, sorry, go ahead, Lauren. Yeah, I just, we aren't prepared to vote on this tonight. Do, I know, we, I understand we're that. We're just taking comments, yeah, please. Yeah, I understand. We will put, we've got, it. There's, there's a lot to it. I really need to know whether Sleepy Hollow Road is a road that, we get paid is it a town road no, no. It's, it's like many all of our private it's roads. a driveway and some of our private roads are just like this they kind of like fade off into the woods yeah. but okay. and the, the right of ways it's it's maybe somewhat unusual for the right of way to traverse solely your property until it gets to other properties but many of them are combined properties that meet somewhere as it goes through um isn't it really more just a gps grid bike? there's no gps in that the, the local no, I mean, I mean 911. Is it figured that way? 911 is, is just That's based on the road and where the driveway to the house is on the road. <clears throat> That's why, and we've had this come up on Furnace Brook and other roads where the address was, in, yours goes back a long time, but these other ones, the address was improperly assigned and the driveway is on a different street. Well, the 911 functions by going to a driveway. So if it's if you take Furnace Brook and uh, put it on East Road, they'll go to East Road, and that's where the driveway to the house will be, and that's where they want to be. Well, well, I guess my only point would be is that is my driveway, and it comes off of Shaftesbury Hollow Road, and that's how you get. It doesn't go to a driveway; it goes to my house. And uh, if you're well, under the gun, where the state says we don't care, too bad, tough luck, lady. Uh, just leave my mailing address as it is. Well, we're never going to change your mailing address. That's not what I'm told. Uh, well, that, Shelley that's said that's my new mailing address. Hmm, well, I'm not aware of us Did doing check anything. With the post office. Office. Check Tw with the post Twice, office. but I'm told they were sent a letter, which doesn't matter anyway. I live in Shaftesbury. I have North Bennington mailing address, and <laughs> Bennington delivers my mail. Is sometimes. it? Yeah, yeah. sometimes. That, sure, you can have that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But anyway, can I won't take more of your time unless you have a question for me. But when you think about it, if you feel like you have no other choice, we may not have to. You may not, not have, have the ability to change it. I understand. Okay. Uh, what, just I, leave my mailing address alone. Well, we don't. We don't have anything to do with mailing addresses. No. 
No, uh, and if 911 is the same with, you mentioned Google and all these services, most, you know, a lot of them are behind. And changes like this, they will eventually change the entire thing to Sleepy Hollow on all their maps, and you'll be assigned 120 Sleepy Hollow on Google and everything else. Huh. But the mail, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm, you know, maybe Shelly knows something. I don't know. I never knew this had anything to do with the post office. Well, it, so, it has a, I, there's a lot of material. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I've read all of it. Who, but who does deliver the mail? North who? Bennington. Nor does North Bennington? Bennington. Actually, Bennington? Bennington I delivers our mail. North Bennington will deliver packages, but Bennington delivers the mail. Is it? Is well, it I don't know why we have a Shasbury post office. Is it Sue? Sue Gully? Sue, yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. she does. Yeah. yeah. She goes out of Bennington. So, I, yeah. Yeah. so right. let me talk to Sue. Go ahead. About I will talk to Sue uh, and find out who de who determines a mailing address, okay? I don't want to change my mailing address. I realize that. Good okay. luck. Mine yeah. has changed three times. Yeah, well, mine's changed twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, Again. and that doesn't include this one. And Where, where's your mailbox? It's right there at the bottom of my driveway. At, on Shasbury uh, Hollow. On Shasbury Hollow Road. I face Shasbury Hollow Road. I plow that road. I maintain that road. Could somebody build? On one of those lots behind you, possibly? Is it possible? Not if they had, unless they're insane. Is it the forest and rec zone, though, or something? Uh, no, apparently the zoning changed that. Well, I don't know why. The zoning changed in those, those areas that theoretically so if somebody could did be built build on. back there, you though, could, then you would be. You could second. not build up in there. Well, you could do anything with enough money. I think it, 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 somebody. Yes, <laughs> if you had enough money and you were insane. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Am I right? Anyway, all right. So. We, that's where I'm going to leave okay. it. If we, anybody has questions, I'm easy we'll, to find. We will work on it, and we'll put it on the agenda if we have more. Okay. We, if, we want you again, okay? All right. Thank you very much. Thank for you for your time. Right. Yep. Thank you, Kathy. Who else? Good evening. Hey. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jennifer Prouty Hoffman. Uh, I live at 545 Harvest Hills Drive. Um, my husband, uh, John, and I have built a home uh, there. We have 40 acres of land, and uh, not only is it our home, but we also run both of our businesses from our home, uh, which we are allowed to do because we are not subjected to the covenants of the rest of the road. Um, we have paved our driveway, and there is a small section of Harvest Hills Drive which is unpaved. So everyone else who lives on Harvest Hills Drive traverses over a paved road, except Dr. Ellison, her husband, uh, and John and I, we have to go over the unpaved section to then be able to get to our driveways. We are asking for the town to finish paving the rest of Harvest Hills Drive. We understand that when the road was paved many years ago that there were no homes at the end of the cul-de-sac and that we have since built homes out there and we are just simply asking for the town to finish paving that public right-of-way. Okay. Um, one of the concerns is that for years town was taking was paving roads that were not brought up to state standards harvest hills is one of them and if you know it breaks up terrible so what we've got to do is find out what it would cost to bring that section up to standards and that sort of stuff in the meantime i i went up there and i saw it in the meantime i think if we took up some uh, some of the crushed gravel and then put um, chloride on it or, or whatever he's using to control the dust until we can come up with a with a budget item as to what it would cost uh, and so I know that the town uh, town foreman kind of rough something up and I think it's only right that I go to Bodwin's or somebody that does this for a living and get a yeah, price. Because the, yeah the, we did materials only that's right uh, and another thing is because you bring up the condition of the road in Definitely. general. It's a road that needs to be worked on. Yeah. So on a practical matter and, and you know, efficiency is a scale, when we're looking at having to redo the entire road, which isn't going to be that far away, it might be the best time to extend or consider because the pricing would be so much better doing it then. Because mm -hmm. that road wasn't, it wasn't built right in the first place the, under the pavement. You can see it's like paper thin. Yeah. Well, so and, and my understanding is that town water stops where the pavement 
stops and that town water will not ever be extended further. I've talked to Ted Phila about this several times. Who did you talk to? Ted. It's North Bennington. For North Bennington there. Water Department. Oh, it's North Bennington yeah. Water. Sorry, yes. Okay, but I, I don't think there's... I think they can extend it. Uh, I, you know, that's, I North Bennington that's, that's a different, yeah. but my point being that I've asked many times, we've had a lot of water issues um, at our property. And so um, we've had to spend an ungodly amount of water, amount of money to get water there um, that is drinkable. So um, I would love to have that happen, but I have been told repeatedly it will not happen. But just if you are going to undertake redoing the entire road, I've been told by Ted that the water pressure at Harvest Hills is always the biggest problem in North Bennington. If there's a pressure issue, it's from Harvest Hills. Oh, yeah, so need, not to make us a bigger request, but if you are going to repave the entire road, you should, I think, talk to, Harvest, uh, to North Bennington about the water mains at the same time. It may be yeah. the right time to tackle both issues. No, that's, that's the same thing we're doing here with the state because we yeah. have some mains to be placed. We let them know whether or not they're gonna spend the money to, to do that. I, we don't do the water there, so I hadn't even heard about the water pressures there, but uh, that's interesting. Yeah, you would be pretty far towards the end of their, yeah. their lines. Yeah. 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 Mm. Okay. So I, 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 there, are, there are some potholes there and I, I, I Couple loads of gravel on the grader and one and thing, some yeah. One thing Mike said when he, he went up to look after I talked to him was like, yeah, that we can we can touch it up and we can make it more like a hard pack. And then, like I said, I think the best thing to do is when we look at the overall reconstruction. That's not in the too distant future. It just economies of scale would be that would be the time to redo the whole to road. Extend it, yeah. But in, in the meantime, I'm going to ask also find yeah. out what it would cost because yeah. it would have to be done at that time too. So. Yeah. Yep. That's okay. Well, there are other people here, so if anybody else wants to speak I'm to the just issue. Gonna <laughs> add a few things. I actually told my kids that I was going to come to the meeting. I, I'm Lisha Ellis. Uh, okay. I'm the, are they uh, watching on Zoom? Because we'll have to change uh, the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they're watching. <laughs> but there are the eight and, and, oh, and six. I actually was hoping that I was able to bring them bring them uh, <laughs> here, but uh, but I came directly from work. It was a busy day, but anyway, so what the boys wanted me to say was um, the reason they want the road to be paved is because they fell multiple times when they were riding their bike. I mean, no, nothing really uh, bad happened. The six-year-old scraped his knee and the eight-year-old never really fell. He, he said he almost fell multiple times. So. so I figured I'll add that <laughs> to one. I hate to ask. Uh, the, 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 crushed, the, the crushed gravel we're using now would be a lot better than what's there. Yeah, it, I, it is, I saw some yeah. pretty big stuff. There. And it, it packs much better. Yes. You can fix those potholes after a rainstorm. The potholes come right back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. For, so there's something wrong That's, with that little area. Yeah, it's uh, an issue we've been fixing all over town in the last few years. Uh, we'll get it working so they don't come back. There's a way to fix that. Yes. Uh -huh. That might know. Okay. Yeah, because we've had that issue. It's a material issue, and how the road was put together originally. So, uh, unless it turns out there's a spring under that. I, road, well, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, and that we can also uh, fix like, by putting a drain through it. That may be the. Yeah. The temporary solution. We'll, we'll look before, at. Before yeah, we'll look at paid. that. Because we don't like. It's a waste of money to keep filling potholes. Right. Right. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Oh. Take up the director's chair again. Anybody else? All set? Okay. Thank you for coming. It's good to have company. <laughs> yeah. You usually sit here alone most of the time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. <coughs> You're up. Please. Okay. Make sure that camera's pointed the other way again. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, well, you guys just approved a warrant and if, that is going to be more money than we actually have in the checking account, but you shouldn't be alarmed because most of that is uh, water money, so I'll, I'll make a transfer from reserves before I even um, write the checks. So we're not in any danger of bouncing. But you just, I think Oops. if you look down, we've got, um, oh, 140, something like that thousand in cash yeah yeah pretty close um and you just approved a warrant for 100 130 something was uh -huh. that? I think it was more even more than yeah, that. it was 140 something yeah okay so don't 
don't be worried. We've got the money. It, it just because the, the bulk of that is, is the water money, and that'll come right out of the reserve account. Um, I don't know if all the interesting going on with the general fund right now. Also, I've got the, I printed the first hundred uh, tax bills today. Everything is all set up. Set up. My gorgeous yeah. new folding machine. I was going to ask you oh, if you got a folder. Oh, that's the folding <laughs> machine. It works like a charm. So that's going to, I think we should, I should be able to get the uh, bills in the mail for sure by the end of this week, um, especially with that handy dandy machine. So, and then uh, we won't even need to worry about the, um, the cash situation. The, the money will start flowing in right away. Um, any questions about any of that, about tax bills? They're due November 10th this year. You guys voted on that. That is the same as Bennington or North Bennington. Um, it's the middle of the week, which is weird for mm -hmm. most Chasburyites. So make sure I'm going to stamp them all with a date to make it really clear. But it's November 10th. Um, don't wait for Friday just because you've paid Friday other years. It's going to be, I believe that's a Wednesday. Um, if you want to look down to the very bottom of that one, you see a great big number there. Mm -hmm. We have a new uh, fund, and that's where we're parking the ARPA money. We need to, um, you can see it's 179 and change, 79,000 and change. There you see it. Um, it's that new 900 fund. Um, and the, the state, actually that's federal money and they they want us to keep it separate but they actively do not want a separate bank account for it i don't know why that it's our. yeah they we i looked into it i thought that i should probably have a completely yeah. uh sequestered but that they actively want us to do it the way we had already done it so so we're fine we've got a brand new fund um any Spending will come uh, directly out of that 900, and no other money will ever touch it. What's it for? Uh, well, it's well, that's up in the air at this point. Yeah, that's the federal money that we're eventually going to have close to a million dollars of. Yeah, uh, we had talked about it for the water, but uh, nothing's in stone yet, and we have till 2026 to spend it. So it's just accumulating right now. It's going to sit. Mm -hmm. Good place for it. Yeah, 900 funds. It's a great yeah. place. We'll get. Mm -hmm. Um, two cents interest on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the other thing is they want that we get to keep the interest on it. Um, and that's another reason that, that this is the, the, the way they want it handled. So it will start accumulating interest if we don't spend it right away. That's, that was interesting. PPP money was the same way. They mm -hmm. had to keep it separate, but they didn't, incur, didn't tell you you had to have a separate checking right. account or anything. So. Right, right. Yeah, they... Uh, they they sent out an advisory that they wanted us not to um, open new accounts, which I thought we had to do. Um, so yeah, and the only other thing going on you see is that's still some some late water payments coming in. Um, not a, that that was a, a grant or something was bulk of it. I talked about that earlier. Um, that forty three ten there. So that isn't all water payments. There's something else, but not a huge amount of money. Um, any questions about any of that? Going to be all tax bills all the time, starting very soon. All set, Mike. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you, Mel. Thank you. Mike, not coming tonight. I, today. I thought Mike would be coming tonight. Uh, I think after we changed. Uh, we're not having any discussion on the hollow. Uh, there's not uh, a lot going on on roads other than the hollow, which was taking up a good deal of time for, for him especially. Uh, that's nearing completion. Uh, they're back on the graders, so they're working on the roads and the usual ditching and mowing and, and uh, the normal maintenance. There's no project going on now. It's just uh, regular uh, maintenance of the roads. Yeah, there's one more culvert on um, Rollin Road. There's one more cover. There's one more to do. I don't yep. think they've started it yet, though, have they? No, they haven't. Yeah, yeah. I think when they get that done, then they'll finish the road. They'll finish. Because it's finish kind of rolling rough right out. now yeah. with all the, all and, the work that's been done on there lately. Yeah, and the only project really coming up will be West Mountain Road that has to be completed by October, the end of October. And Weaver has the contract. And Weaver has the contract on that. Um, he has a full crew now, so to say. Is that not right? Uh, I'm not aware of his staffing. I don't know. Did uh, 
did the new hire did Nick oh our crew I thought yes, you were asking about crew. Weaver's crew I no. was like I don't know no. <laughs> yeah we have a we have a full crew uh, as of we, today we were down two people plus Mike took vacation yeah. so this we're, we're, we're just, all back yeah we're back. just getting things yeah. rolling again. yeah the new okay. hire started this morning sure and we're all set to go that's really all I have for the highways today it's summertime and the grading um, as is a little behind but with all the rain we lost quite a number of days you can't go out and do it then is the new backhoe guy in here yet or no? Oh, no, no. It'll be a while. About thought, a few weeks, maybe. Uh, you know, actually, I'm thinking. What is that? I thought that I thought, was all approved. I thought they had it. Did they have it? In, well, it's going to take a month at least to get here, is my understanding. Okay. Huh. And, the, and the tractor's got to be ordered, so that's a year away. Yeah, the tractor, I, I meant to ask Mike today about that, but yeah, that's a, that's a year away. We're not seeing yeah, that. No, I knew that was, but I thought I... No, the I, tractor is there. They have a tractor or can get their hands on one. But I, from the paperwork I got, it was going to be at least a month or so. Uh, because I did the financial paperwork last week. And, uh, for the, the excavator. Yeah, for the excavator, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's still a little bit to go on that. Um. We talked about trees quite a bit. I don't know is that that's more of a wintertime project. Yeah, the trees will really be taken up in the winter. It's easier yeah. to work on, and that's when uh, we can get services for cheaper too. Um, Did have you heard any more about the contract that the power company has with a tree company that's going to take down all the ash? Uh, the right no, area? that is an ongoing multi-year contract with them and they will come around as needed and as they determine when it needs to be done. The Davy <coughs> crews that were here, which were taking down things that were around the power line, if they came across an ash that was in uh, bad condition, they would take those down. We actually got a call about a tree that's growing through power lines. I don't know how they missed it or didn't think it was important, so I'm getting them back to look at it. It's on Myers Road. Uh, but the way I understood it from, this, from the Green Mountain office was this contract is statewide and that uh, when a tree, an ash, is in difficulty, then they'll come back and take it down. They're not just going to go around taking them all down. Oh, Excuse me. Okay. Because they can't afford to, just like everybody else can't afford to. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, so okay. it's, it's still up in the air. Any questions? Yeah. About any, all yeah, set? All good. Okay. So we have a couple of liquor licenses. Are these for a specific date or are yeah. they? Yes. Yeah. How, how is your operation? The date? Yeah. 8, right. 8 18 21? Yeah. This, this is for the Dutchman Tavern. Is asking for this uh, for sp sp just one day. Okay. Is that three or? Yeah, that three I think it's three. Three p.m. to ten p.m. Yeah. It's a wedding. For a wedding. Any? Want to, somebody want to make a motion? Yeah, sure. Uh, so we'll. Okay, and we have uh, one by Mike, second by Ken. Any discussion? This is just a one-day thing? Yeah, one day, yeah. Okay, so all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It's carried 400. You want a signature on this? Uh, can I see it? I believe there is a spot you're supposed Good. to sign. Town, city clerk, signature. Sorry, I should I have looked at it. He's going to be busy, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they catered. Do you see that as my signature or yours? No, or this is the town clerk signature. Town right. clerk signature? Okay, so yeah, just approve them and then she signs them. Okay. Don't. All right. Yeah. And the Dutchman it's Tavern. Not, didn't oh. we say we're going to have her do them? She tomorrow? signs uh, like our catering businesses right. in town and but fall this in. Is, this is one off. Somebody's so coming in. To right. Yeah. Right. Okay. And the Dutchman Tavern again for a wedding on one specific day. Uh, this is also from four to midnight, or not also. It's, it, this one's four to midnight on nine nine twenty one. Uh, on Myers Road. So moved. 
Second. Mike. By Ken. Second by Ken. Oh, any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Four zero zero. So review of action items. Any nothing else that you have before nope. we go? No, okay. that's it. So uh, we had two people come in today uh, asking for us to do something. So I think I guess I'd like to look at a map and, and just see what she's talking about. Yeah, we, she, we can. She, yeah. She's saying that a, a right away that people have been calling Sleepy Hollow is only is only her driveway, but then they're, they're also saying that it does go beyond that. Beyond so that's that. kind of yeah. A, it's the access road to the camps, and the camps. Although you know, it turns into we all know it turns into eventually a yeah. ghost path but yeah. uh you know this is going back at least four years with us when the state first asked and we objected to doing it and then we got the letter telling us we have to we have to because we're going to be held liable for someone not being found i think she's just worried about her mailing address and let me talk to the yeah we'll look at yeah, a little bit more out. information on yes. it and uh uh, because we've been back and forth with Tyler. I've read Tyler's explanation of it. I understand Tyler's explanation of it. And uh, there's no. little we can do unless you just flat out say we're just not going to follow what the state's telling us to do. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah. Because then you wind up not on the state if we 911 yeah. area. Yeah, because right now it is, frankly, where it should be. Right. And if you're driving, responding, and you are looking for a driveway, it's not, it's not going to match. Yeah. You're going to come up and you're going to see, because it comes up right on, on, I assume they all have patrol laptops. Yeah. It comes up, boom, you can see it. You turn in, it's up 120 on the right. And th that's the way the system's designed. That's, yeah. uh, we've had this with a couple of other residents who said, you yeah. know, you've got to change your address. Uh, yeah. Okay. Because that's what the rules are, and the state yeah. made the rules, and if we don't comply, then yep. we're well, the ones in trouble if somebody gets hurt and there's a delay in responding. What was your last name? Solian. Solian, okay. I, mean, I understand it's a pain, and you've had yours changed. and uh, it's, Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a to-do, but it's not. Like and all the other things, shatter. Google and that catches up as it's circulated. Yeah. But they, you know, they get nationwide. You can imagine the tens of thousands of these they get, and you know, someone's sitting there typing them in. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's, it's a free service, so there's not they're not killing themselves to do and, it. And you're going to ask Mike to uh, touch up that cult of Yeah, we had already talked about fixing that up. Because yep. it's one of those, it's a thumb way out. Well, I, out I don't the think way. the grader ever has to go up there, is it? Yeah, uh, you know, it's way out of the way. Yes, and okay. So we'll, we'll work on that. Yep. And then I, I think what we discussed earlier was the way to deal with it. It's just let's look at the larger project that uh, Mike and I have discussed how we're we ever going to fund redoing that whole section anyway. But certainly, if we want to pave it the cheapest time to do it, it was when we have a whole crew yep. working there anyway. That road, that whole road. It's all got to be redone. Yeah, we seal coated that or, or yeah. uh, about five years ago to buy time because right. I know it's so much money. Did we got to dig in fabric and the whole. It's a it whole. Needs a base, the whole thing. Yeah, it's the I same mean, problem we have in Parent Acres. Right, yeah. exactly. That's why we. That's why we we did both of those yeah. sections just to buy us another five to ten years because yeah. we're going to have to start putting money aside to take on huge paving for us. Yeah. Huge yeah, paving projects. No money from the state for these. This has to be no, out of the town's pocket. I, I'm, I'm thinking of the money we spent just on that entrance. Yeah. Several times because yeah. it's so badly constructed. Yep. Yeah. I mean, we didn't. And this was the objection to uh, the new apartment complex down there, not wanting to pave from, you know, Parent yeah. Road up to the opening because yeah. even that part was so expensive. Yeah. It's a lot, you know, it's no way around it. It's a lot no, of money. Yeah. All right. Some of this ARFA money? Oh, can't be used for that, no. Can't be used for that. No. But ARPA is restricted to sewage, telecommunications, and water. 
and a whole bunch of really minor side things that <clears throat> we don't have any use for it at this point. Um, the debates will still go on with us what we're going to spend the money on. It's going to accumulate. We're going to get another $179,123. Shortly, the county money has been approved for not, not having counties. They had to get special permission because money was broken up by the counties uh, in the rest of the country. So we're going to get a significant amount from that. I haven't been told the number yet, but if it's in the same formula, it should be quite a lot. Uh, that will have the same restrictions. Uh, hopefully the infrastructure bill passes and that would open up funding for a lot of projects because that could all be used for road projects and, and culverts and bridge replacement. I mean, depending on how much they funnel that down to the towns. I know the state's going to want to take a huge chunk of it, which is fine, but, you know, most of the roadways in the state are controlled by the towns, yep. so it would be nice if they sent some of that down. Okay. Any other business come before us? We still have to um, executive session. take a, entertain a motion to go into executive session for personnel and legal issues. So moved. Second. Mo motion by Ken, second by Tony. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So carried, 4-0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, downstairs or in your office? Oh, we can just go in my office. It shouldn't okay. take that long. Yep.